I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Augsburg Confession and you. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you like our videos, if you love what we're doing, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Hey buddy, you want one of these? Get the app, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, and donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us rolling. And we need your gift in these dark times. Give today. All right. Aaron Finker, Dean of Theology for Higher Things, joins us. Hello, Pastor Finker. Hello. Um, you are the pastor of uh, I've got Emmanuel, and um, is it um, shoot, Bethlehem? It's a man Bethlehem. Oh, Lutheran churches in Bremen. There you go. That's where I'm at. Bremen, Kansas. All right. Also, the dean hmm. of higher things, which means you're in charge of all of the heavy duty uh, theological lifting. Today, June, somebody's got to do it. June 25th in Augsburg, Germany, in 1530. Big deal happened. Take us there and tell us what's up, what's going on, what does it mean? So um, Luther made a lot of people mad and uh, made the Pope mad, made the emperor mad. And so they were trying to gun for Luther for a long time, but eventually through all the, the politics of things. And in fact, um, now this will be funny to say, the good gift of um, the Muslims trying to invade Europe um, God used even that for good so that um, the Lutherans could make good confession of their faith uh, before the emperor, uh, trying to seek uh, unity, because that's what the creeds are always about. That's uh, the, the Augsburg Confession isn't anything different than just another creed. Um, confessing the faith uh, once delivered to the saints, um, laying out some of our um, concerns about some abuses that were taking place. And all this came to a head in 1530. June 25th, um, when the Lutheran princes, along with Philip Melanchthon, who author, authored the um, Augsburg Confession, um, were before the emperor. And they read out the entire confession in both German and Latin. And from that point forward, um, in the Holy Roman Empire, the, the faith of not just the Roman Catholic Church, but the faith of the Lutheran Church... Um, what, what came to be known as the Lutheran Church, uh, was legally permissible. Um, there could be uh, Lutheran princes and Lutheran pastors. Um, so that's sort of the, the nuts and bolts history of, of that. Um, what does this mean for you? Well, um, maybe your congregation, like my two congregations, um, if you look at their official name, um, maybe they'll have it on the, your, corner, your cornerstone of your church, or maybe part of the name of your church, it'll say UAC at the end. Um, and that's actually talking about the Augsburg Confession, that as Lutherans, we, we hold to this confession of faith drawn from the scriptures, the unaltered Augsburg Confession. Um, it was altered in, in later editions, um, but the Lutherans, uh, to, to form unity, which is what the confessions are always about, even the Nicene Creed, Apostles' Creed, always about loving your neighbor, um, in confessing the faith together, uh, we tied ourselves to that original edition of the Book of Concord, or not Book of Concord, the Augsburg Confession that was first confessed um, in the city of Augsburg before Charles V on June 25th, 1530. So uh, what I love about this is, is Luther's not there, okay? So this is not Luther versus um, versus Rome in person. This is about the confession, isn't it? Right. It's always about the confession because it's always about Jesus. Um, so Luther is behind the scenes. Um, he's sending letters back and forth between him and Melanchthon during this meeting at Augsburg. But yeah, Luther's not there um, because it's not as much as Luther is the the starting point of the confession, because he's the first one to sort of re, uh, 
that the spirit took hold of and, and to speak this confession once again, um, it's not about Luther as a man. Um, the, the book of Concord would, would say he's our, our, our primary teacher, uh, but he, even Luther himself, is um, under the word of God because the confession of the word of God is what's important, but really the preaching of the gospel is what's important. Thor's joined us, if you didn't notice earlier. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Mascot and Dean with with President Sandwich in between. The, um, the, 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 the thing I love about this is it, there's a way that this teaches us how to make a confession. Um, do, did they, uh, what I mean by that is sometimes people get vague in order to, um, they get vague in order to make agreements. You follow me? So we'll water down what we say in order so that you can get on board with it. Other times, people will only say what they agree on and not say what they don't agree on, and that'll allow some wiggle room as well. What do the Germans at Augsburg do that sort of teaches us about making a confession? Right. So the, the Augsburg confession is, is, is crystal clear, the unaltered one. Um, later on, it was altered in order to do that very thing. Uh, because of political reasons. And and I'm not here to sort of fault Melanchthon at that. Um, I would simply say it's a difficult thing when suddenly the entire world is going to, you know, under pain of death, um, you know, say um, you've got to change what you believe and you try, you, you, you're doing the best you can. However, the, the unaltered Augsburg Confession is crystal clear about the gospel. That's what it's all about. Every article of faith keeps coming back to that for the sake of troubled consciences. That's what the confession of faith is really all about. It's not about being right as if we're right, Rome's wrong. Luther's right, the, the, the Charles V is wrong. That, it's not about that at all. It's not about being right and wrong. It's about the delivery of the gospel. Uh, the Nicene Creed is that way for us. Uh, came down from heaven for us was crucified and the Conf Augsburg confession is all about that for the sake of troubled consciences that we are justified by faith in Christ alone and that this gets as concrete as you can get uh, um, in the delivery of that that there was a, a ministry a, a, a delivery point of the gifts of the salvation not just baptism and and the supper which is true um, but it gets even more concrete than that in a, there's a man in an office to deliver those gifts to you. The, 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 delivery, the, the confession of the gospel and the delivery of the gospel is always concrete and real in such a way that Christ will take hold of you and, and, and save you. That's what it's all about. Uh, that um, reoccurring theme is the great teacher. Uh, troubled consciences, troubled consciences, troubled consciences. I like that. It's not about being right. It's about the gospel. It's not about, hey, we're better than you. It's about, this is the faith. Now, one last question before I let you go. The role of um, the fathers and history in this, um, is this, uh, did they stand in front of the Pope and say, this is a new thing that we just figured out? Or did they say uh, something else? Did they just hold up their Bibles or did they... What, did they make references to um, church history as to say, um, well, what did they do? Everything comes from Scripture alone. But all the things that we teach from Scripture alone is what the church has always taught and confessed. What we believe isn't something new. We're not going to stick our heads in, in just in our Bibles. We're going to look and say, we're not alone. We're never alone. There is the communion of saints. And that just, it doesn't just mean, you know, it's just not some idea. It's the fact that you and I, um, with our churches, that God moved all of human history to have in that place. Little churches that have UAC on the, um, UAC on the, on the cornerstone. You're not alone. Um, and neither were um, Philip Melanchthon and those princes alone. We're united with them. God uses all of human history so that his gospel even used Muslims invading the empire so that the gospel would come to troubled consciences, that they would believe in Jesus and be saved because that's what God really is all about. And that's what our confession of faith, whether that's the creeds or the Augsburg confession, is really all about.
Sir Aaron Faker is the, the Dean of Theology of Higher Things. He is also the pastor at Bethlehem and Emmanuel Lutheran Churches in Bremen, Kansas. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Have a blessed day as you contemplate the wonderful gospel, which is in the Augsburg Confession, that God does not treat sinners as they deserve. He is not indifferent to our pain, but he's put all our sins for our comfort on Jesus. And he's made that ours in water, word, and in his body and blood. Have a blessed week. Have a blessed day, excuse me. And we will. This has been Pastor George Borkart and Thor's under squeaking. And this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>